What's going on, Pokemon trainers? This is Trainer Connor, and I'm with Kubal98. Hello, everyone. This is episode 7 of the Battle Tree collaboration. Last time, we took down the Master Trainers. If you haven't seen that episode yet, make sure you check it out. I'll put it in the description in this particular video. So you see here, this is my battle team. I'm going to be using Kangaskhan and Garchomp yet again. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And Kubal98, why don't you describe what you're bringing to the table? I am bringing to the table defensive Alakazam. Alright. And also... Arcanine. Yes. All right. So we haven't seen Arcanine in a while. I believe we used him like once or twice, and that was at the I beginning. Think was, I think it was like the either the, I think the first episode, first or second episode, yeah. and that was like it. That was it. So we're gonna go ahead and begin the seventh episode. I think we're getting to the the middle stages of the battle tree. As we went through the first leg, took on the master trainer, and then the second one, then the third one we're going to head into now. So we're going to be doing three yep. battles, 21, 22, 23, and then episode 8 when we get there. So right now we're connecting. See how Kubal 98 goes with that. Let me see how he's doing. He's getting in there, folks. So while we're waiting, so far the journey's been very intense. We had some easy fights, some very difficult fights, and some mediocre, you know, medium-sized fights, you know. Ones that are not easy, yet so hard. I don't know how to describe it even better than that. <laughs> yeah. But, <laughs> the last couple of times, they were very hard. Yeah. And we said it, you know, when we reach to double digits in battles, they tend to be way more difficult, difficult there. And I can see why, because they want us to utilize any kind of strategy, such as Z power moves and whatnot. All right, guys, welcome back. Something happened, and we took care of it. So this is the 21st battle that we're going to be going into here. Let's see how we do. We don't know what our opponent's going to be bringing. Mm, so it can be anything. Yeah. No legendary, so that's a good thing. Promo Pass and Gothicel. Ooh. This should be interesting. Starting out with Shark Bite, the Garchomp. And then he has his defensive Alakazam as well. And let's see here. You do have Shadow Ball on Alakazam. Yep. I do remember that. So you can go for the Gothicel here. I don't want to use Earthquake because I will probably take you out, but you're defensive. So let me see if I can maybe... Oh, okay. I can go into Kangaskhan. Uh-oh. It looks like I can't switch out. It might be because of Gothic Tell's abilities, so I'm going to stay in here instead. And use Iron Head. What can I do when you have a Shadow Tag Gothic Tell on the field? So I Mega Evolve, which does a bit more damage than just a regular Alakazam, as everyone knows. Yes. Indeed. So first I go for the Iron Head, I'm sure Scarf. Doesn't really do anything, but I'm hoping for a flinch. I can't go for Earthquake, like I mentioned earlier. And Shadow Ball does some damage. Does some pretty good damage. Yep, it does. This attack right here, well, it's not really an attack, but my attack it, got lowered. It does do something. <laughs> right, I can't switch out either, so... And the problem has to use, what, Thunder Wave on you? So that's... Yes. Oh boy, what did we talk about? Her has... <laughs> they <laughs> They're annoying! It's annoying. Here we go again. So I'm going to go for Iron Rages. Okay, I can't because I'm switched out. I keep forgetting that. Alright. We're going to go for Iron Head again. 
That's what she's saying. Yeah, the only way for you to get out of Iron Man is if you switch out and you can't right now because of the Gothitelle. And now you could is... probably do that because it's Gothitelle went down, right? Yeah. Yep. Good stuff. Stealth so... Rock? Oh, man. That's a little unfortunate. Yes. Especially when you have your Arcanine. <laughs> yeah. It's okay, though. It's not going to do a whole lot. Like, it's going to take a little bit of HP, but, you know. Ah. Scythor here. I I can switch out here. Yay, I have the freedom to do that. So I'm going to switch out of here so that Chaos Con can do something in this fight. See what and happens then, here. Ooh, we got to switch out as well from the opponent. Yep. Into... Ooh, a Steelix. Two Steel types. Oh my gosh, your Arcanine's got a field day. <laughs> yep. So you go for Shadow Ball again. X Scissor. Ooh, that Ooh. does a lot of damage. Okay. Dang. Yeah, um, I'm not going for, like, Dazzling Gleam or Psychic because they don't do that much damage. So I think you could just go for Shadow Ball because they're not, not doing anything to you. <laughs> And I really can't use Fake Out or anything. I'm going to go for the Game Punches here. I could go for the Steal It. Get my HP back for sure. I hit twice. Look at that. We got a little bit of HP back. He's got oh, the berry. berry. Oh, no. Boy. Oh, got, an eight. got his HP back. Did I forget to bad day evolve again? I think you did. So I go for the... Oh, man. Um, wow. Oh. You have Sturdy. I think you chased it somehow. <laughs> it doesn't that, matter, though. That doesn't... Does it for the my defensive Alakazam at this point. So now you can go into Arcanine. I can't believe I forgot Kid Magic Evolve. I think in one of the other episodes I forgot Kid Magic Evolve, which is... You know, that happens from time to time, but now you have the luxury to handle pretty much everyone on this battlefield, well, except for me. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. So let's go ahead and Mega Evolve this time. I am faster than the Steelers, so that's good. Let me go ahead and do that now. Uh, there you go. Hang a you finally Mega Evolved. A turn <laughs> later. <laughs> Even though I could go for the Steelix, I'm going to go for the Scissor on this turn. Yeah. That would be great. So I'm going to get my HP back again. I'm going to get more this time because I hit twice. And let's see where we are at this point. For the Thor, okay, that's going to be an easy KO. <laughs> yes. Very easy. Imagine if that was a critical hit. Massive oh, that overkill. would be yeah. overkill out whole lot. <laughs> yep. Okay, so he went for Crunch there. Not bad. I'm gonna go for another Drain Punch. I can't believe I'm faster than your Arcanine. I just realized, but that's okay. We're gonna get the job done here. We're double teaming on the Steelix mm -hmm. right now. Ooh! Look at that. Look at that. This is really good stuff. Really good stuff right here. All right, so Steelus is out. I believe we have to face one more Pokemon. Yes. And who that might be, I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Oh, yeah. Oh, the yeah. Po yeah, the... Po right. The... Right. The, the Pokemon past it was in the beginning. Yeah, I kind of forgot about that for a moment, but that's okay. We're going to go for the Grand Punch. I just realized that we had to face one Psychic type and three Steel type Pokemon. Yes. That's not a good combination. <laughs> it's not a good combination. No. Nope. Oh, oh. There we go. Hang us down. But you somehow didn't get out the problem fast. But that's fine because Brinthor yep. helps us out right there. And there you go. That wraps up the first match out of three. Yep. Let's heal our Pokemon and get four BP this time. Number 22. Let's keep it going. Oh, this is going to be fun. I guess so. I mean, <laughs> yeah. We're at, the point of this is to have fun. Exactly. 
even though the good times and bad times kind of getting there a little bit. You know, it's more bad times, really, because you never know what the fight's going to be about. And then the next thing you know, we're in... We're in a tough situation, and... With master trainers and all that stuff. Exactly, and then, you know, Z-Power Z moves are coming at you every direction and whatnot. Ooh. We saw it fun, though. Scrappy and... Ooh, this is not good for you, obviously. Uh, mm -hmm. Scrappy is going to do some damage to you. Just yep. be careful about that. As well as the Omega. But... Oh, man, he has Intimidate as well. That's even more... Sickening. I could handle the Yamega here. Take it out right away and put a little bit of damage on to the Scrafty. What do you have? Gasoline going? Yes. And you went for it, right? Yep. Okay, so I'm going to go for the short Scarf Rock slide. Did I make it evolve? And. Oh. Uh, it looks like you forgot to make it evolve too. Yeah, I think yeah. you just mentioned that to yourself. I heard you. But that's okay. We're going to see how we do with this. Oh my god. <laughs> Damn. Well, that happened. <laughs> I know. Wow, that did something. Bug Buzz, uh oh, look out! I knew. Oh, yep. No chance. No chance. Ay, yay, yay. That's not good. That is definitely not good. It's okay. You have Arcanine, and you can kind of make the scrappy <laughs> right back at him. <laughs> yeah, kiss your own medicine in there, buggy. Yep. And you have the air balloon, which kind of... Did I... Wait, did I go for that side before? I think I did, but I missed the... So, or who are you going for this turn? Rock slide again. At uh, Pokemon? Both of them. Okay. So, am I fast? Yeah, I should be faster. Yeah, you are faster than... However, this crafty is going to try to use um, Focus Punch there. It doesn't work. <laughs> wow, this Yamega is so bulky. Yes. It's what, but four times we to rock it? I used two rock slides and it didn't take it out. Yay. Uses a citrus berry, but w will it be enough? Oh. Yep, faint yep. to take it out easily enough right there. That's good. Man, that check. Oh, man. If I had an earthquake. I can't use it right now. Oh, and... And Incineroar as well. Incineroar. Okay, so I'm thinking of switching out here. Okay. And you can... I don't know what you're going to go for. You can probably just attack the Manetra, because you can't really do anything to the Incineroar. Yes. Good news is, is that I still have Garchomp in the back. So let's see how we do with the Kangaskhan. And look at that! Our opponent is bringing a Mega Manetra. See what I mean? We're uh -huh. going to have a much difficult fight. A much more difficult fight in this case. Integumate. Well played, sir. Well played. All right. So I use protect, protect on this turn just in case. Fake out. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Overheat. Dang. Wow. Well, the next one's not going to do as much. So that's good. Mega Evolve, let's fake out this Manetra here. That's what I'm more, more, more worried about. And I'm not sure we can do some damage to this Manetra. It's pretty frail in general, so that's why I went for that. Fake out onto the Manetra here. And that didn't do anything because of the Intimate, probably, but that's fine. We flinch it, that's what counts, right? Yep. To the next. Oh, oh it's and burnt. burnt! Okay. Z power move coming from the incinerator here. But which one is it? Um, it might be. Oh, it's in front of overdrive. So, fire type. That's going to probably hit me. Yep. Oh boy, this isn't going to be good. Dang! Okay, so Kangaskhan goes down. You have the air balloon, so that means. Oh, you know exactly what I'm going to go for right now. Yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and do that. Shark bite. Let's finish this. Let's finish this battle. Right now. Right now. Earthquake. And look at that. It doesn't affect Arcanine. Because for some reason, this Arcanine can hold an air balloon. <laughs> I don't know how that would... 
be the case, but that's fine. We take out the magnetic. Now we have to finish the incinerator. Which, okay, Frankor is not going to do anything. But. Yeah, but even though. It incinerates the snarl, but it doesn't really do that much. That's fine. We're going to finish it. Uh oh. The air balloon popped, so. This may KO you, but at the same time, we'll finish this battle. So. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're ahead of me here. You for tech. I keep forgetting about that, so. There you have it. That's a great strategy, and that's the end of the second match. Pretty, I guess you could say it's a medium-sized fight right there. Nothing too major, nothing too easy as well. Yeah, so. And we got a case of everything there. Mega Evolution and Z-Power. Mm -hmm. And we still won this match. <laughs> there you have it. The second match is a doozy right there. It was, really. <laughs> Number 23. Yeah. It was most definitely a doozy. Yeah. It wasn't easy, but it wasn't super damn difficult. But Anyway, so this is going to be the last fight for episode 7. And we are about 17 minutes in around there. We're close to it, anyway. Okay, so gentlemen, sightseer. Gentlemen, trainers tend to be the most difficult, so let's be aware of that. Rotom and... Ooh, Rotom, Heat Form, and Breloom. Okay, this is going to be fun. Let's see. Okay. I can hit anyone here, so I'm going to go for Outrage. It's going to pick randomly. And I believe you're going to go for the Psychic on the Breloom. Which Am makes, I? Are you? It would make sense, but if you're going to go for someone else, that's fine too. Let's see, what does the outrage hit? Rotom? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Hits the Rotom. Oh my gosh, yes! You can hit both Pokemon like that. Yeah. All right. Cool. Bram is done. All right, Bram, can you do anything in this match? Confuse Ray, uh-oh. On your, on Shark Bite, oof. That's okay. I could probably switch out of here anyway. Ooh, going to Excagrill. Oh, I can't. Okay, Outrage is preventing me to switch out, so that's a thing. Take notes, trainers. Take notes. I dodge the confusion. I hit the Excagrill, which actually does a little bit of damage. A little bit surprised about that. And I psychic. go for the psychic. There you go. Finish off the road top. Good stuff. Good stuff. So now, we have to face one more Pokemon there. Using Dig, it's probably going to target you, but you're a defensive Alexam, so I'm expecting you to live it. But again, how do I know that? We don't know what he's going to target. Mm hmm. All right, let's go ahead and continue with the outrages. See if we can bypass the confusion. Yes, yes, but we have. Oh my gosh, this actually fell. Avoids the attack because of yeah. the freaking dig. Yep. Dig? Oh, it hits. Okay, so never mind what I said earlier. I guess this actually fell is pretty dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I oh. don't know. Oh, okay, light screen. Okay. That's going to not affect my damage output because I'm a physical attacker, but. Okay, so I can probably switch out of here now. Let's go ahead and do that. Go into Kangaskhan and do what you can with the light screen up. It's going to do some less damage. Like you were saying earlier about the fact that there's some battles that are easy, some battles that are mean, some battles that are not, are like really hard. This, yeah. is, this is turning out to be one of the a bit more easier ones. Yeah. Probably. Alright, this actually fails using Corkscrew Scratch. Oh, fight. Let's see how much this does. If Ooh, any. You're defensive. See Ooh. what I'm talking We're talking about defensive out exam, and it's killing it. Man, that was a Corkscrew Crash. And that did that much. Okay, so let's go yeah, for the second punch here. 
If I didn't Mega Evolve, I know for a fact it would have fainted. Maybe. Maybe. You don't know. I guess it's a higher chance of that happening. Yeah, it's a high, much more higher chance than if it was a Mega in its Mega form. All right, cool. So we took down this extra drill, and that's going to be the end of episode seven. Yeah, this video wasn't too bad. Uh, again, we took down some easy trainers and some yes, not so easy trainers. Yeah. Okay, so we just received four BP again, and that's going to be the end of this episode. So thank you guys for watching. I know it could be a little bit better as far as commentary goes, but we are. Doing the best we can. Uh, hope you all enjoy episode 7. We're going to go to episode 8 in a little while. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you like this video. Subscribe to our channels. See you in the next video, folks.